Alright, so today we are going to look at a simple problem on the board on what integration. So the question says we should evaluate the integral of this x with respect to x, alright? Given the upper and the what in the y limit, the upper limit is what? 9, and in the y limit is 0. So this is the upper limit, and this is the what? Lower limit. So after we've done the integration, we are now going to use the value of the upper and the lower limit and substitute into what whatever expression we get. Right. So our solution. Now the first thing is square root of x. Okay. Square root sine means what? Means power of what? R. Okay. So it means I can write this as x raised to the power of what? R. All right, so that's our first step. Now the next thing is let's integrate this. So to integrate this with respect to the x, it means we are going to integrate. Now instead of this, we are going to write this. So x raised to power what r with respect to the x. Okay. Now when we are integrating, what do we do? Okay. When integrating. You want to what, add one to this power and divide by whatever it is you have. If I say the integral of let's say a raised to the power of two with respect to let's say the a, okay, it means we want to say a raised to the power of two plus one divided by what two plus one, right? You add one to the power and whatever you add, you bring it down to divide as a denominator. All right, so. We are going to apply this to what we have here. It means this is going to be, okay, we are going to have x raised to our r plus 1 divided by what? r plus 1. So we are going to put all this in brackets, okay? Now we are going to put our limit. This is 9 and this is 0. So let's see what this gives us. So the question is 1 plus what r? What is 1 plus r? So let's solve this. Now 1 plus r, which is still r plus 1, we have r plus 1, which is 1 plus r. We can simply write this as, if you have a whole number, adding what? A fraction. You can remove this and just join this. Okay? So this becomes what? This is what a mixed fraction. We can turn into improper fraction. So we have two times one, which is two plus one, and it's three over what's two. Or to solve it out, we have one by one plus what r. One means one by one. So all the LCM is two. So two divide one divide this is two times two times one is two plus two divide two is what one one times one is one. So if we add this up, we have what 3 over 2, which we have here. All right, so this becomes x raised to the power of what 3 over 2 divide. This also becomes 3 over what 2. We have to cover this and put our what upper and what lower limits. Right now that we have gotten that step, let's see what next we can do. All right, so now for this, we can further write this as, okay, this you can write as 1 over what 3 over 2 multiply what x raised to the power 3 over 2. Okay, here we'll put our upper and lower limits because 1 times this is this divided by what this. So this is still the same thing as this. Now, but this part, okay, will now have the inverse of 3 over 2. And what would that give us if we have 1 divided 3 over 2? This is going to be 1 over 1. So it's 1 over 1. This will change to times. And we are going to what, rotate this. So it will be 2 over 3. So 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 3 is 3. So we have this as 2 over what, 3. Okay? So all this expression means what? 2 over what, 3. All right? So this is going to what multiply this 
So let's multiply it. So we have this multiply x raised to the power what? 3 over 2. Then we are going to put our limits. Now at this point, we can now what? Apply our limits into the expression. Okay. Remember, like I said, that after integration, we are going to increase the value of our limits, subtracting them to get our answer. So what this means is I'm going to put 9 here, okay? All right, so we have 2 over 3 into x becomes what? 9 raised to the power of what? 3 over 2 minus, okay? So we've added to the upper limit here. Now we are going to put the lower limit. So I have 2 over 3 here multiplied by what? Multiplied by 0 raised to the power what? 3 over 2. Okay? So we have been able to introduce our limits. Remember, this is the word upper and this is the word lower. So the upper limit is this and the lower limit is this. Okay? Now that we've introduced the two limits and we are subtracting between them, it's always upper minus lower. Now we are going to simplify for that to get our answer to this problem. All right, so if we are to simplify for that, we can write this as 2 over 3, multiply. This is 9, okay? Now this is what we can write this as half times what? 3, okay? Right, minus we have two over what, three. Okay, this is zero. Okay, this is also half times what three. Okay, now that we have this expression, <clears throat> let's see what that gives us. Now, for this, we know that nine means what nine means what three times what three, right? which also means 3 squared. So instead of 9, we are going to write 3 squared. So this becomes 2 over 3, multiply. 9 becomes what? Our 3 squared times, remember we have half, times what? 3. Okay? So minus, okay? 0 raised to power what? Half also means, now half also means square root of what? 0. So we have that raised to power of what? 3. Okay. Remember, I say that the square root also means what? Square root also means half. That's raised to the power half. And the raised to the power half also means square root. Okay. The square root also means what? Power what? Half. And half, power half also means square root. Okay. That is what we apply there. All right. So. <clears throat> Now for this, this 2 is going to cancel, this is 1, 1. So we are left with 2 over 3 multiplied by what? 3 raised to the power of what? 3, okay? Minus what? Square root of 0 is 0, so we have 2 over 3, 0 raised to the power of 3, okay? So let's see what that gives us. So here we have 2 over 3 multiplied by what? 3 raised to the power of 3 means 3 times 3 times 3, okay? So minus 0 raised to the power of 3, okay, is to 0. So here we have 2 over 3 times what 0. Okay. And from that, we can now arrive at our answer to this problem. Okay. So 3 can cancel 3 here is 1, 1. So we are left with what? 2 times what? Times 1, which is the 2 times what? 3 and times what 3, okay, minus, okay. Now, 2 power times 0 is still 0. So the value of our what lower limit is 0. Now, what about the value of our upper limit? Our upper limit, we have 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, 6 times 3 is 18. So we have 18 minus what 0. So the upper limit gave us what? 18 and the lower limit here was what? Yeah. So if we subtract this to our answer to this problem, is what? 18. So 18 is all the simple solution to this problem. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment for two.
I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.